robbing a person there in the parking lot. Uh, we got a robbery that just occurred, tailing with a gun. The suspect is now fleeing in a white expedition. Officers are in pursuit. They're in pursuit right now, so we're going to catch up with them. Okay, we're right up here. On. Eleven Station, I'm taking over the pursuit. We're northbound in Old Greenwood, approaching Rogers. We're going to be going west on Rogers Avenue. Just blew a tire. Looked like it blew a tire. That's a negative. The tire's good. He's still going. Traffic's getting heavy. He's weaving in and out of cars this time. He's going 75. Somehow he held onto that turn. He's picking up speed. He's getting on Highway 64, trying to cross state lines in Oklahoma. We're in contact with OHP. Stay in pursuit until they arrive. Be advised, OHP is preparing to lay out spikes. Copy. Give us a heads up where they're going to set those spikes out so we can back off. to Taylor Road. Deploying spikes in three, two. Hold the strips. We're coming to a stop. We're stopping. Stand by. Oh, What's he doing? Yeah, the rights remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. What do you Apparently a jewelry store. They said $100,000 worth of jewelry. Um, we recovered a bunch of stolen jewelry from the robbery. Platinum and diamonds, really expensive items. We were lucky, you know, could have turned out real tragic. You know, God was on our side and we're happy with the results. Send us out also. Yeah, we've been dispatched to a uh, scene of a large crowd. Uh, looks like at least 15, 20 youths are involved, intimidating a uh, large party of kids. We've got additional units responding with us. We'll see what happens when we get on scene. This is it right here, right? Yeah, we got a whole big crowd. The presence of police is enough to deter most crowds, and they have a tendency to leave at that time. 1438, there was a large crowd here. Most of the people that were outside on the opposite side of the street fled. Get back! Get back! Get back! Stop! Get down! This guy's shooting back, just shooting. Coming out. Down. This guy 
best shooting. Problem is, we don't actually see where he's running to. We have to try to pick him out of this darkness. We're moving into a highly dangerous situation here. Be advised, a neighbor saw him running towards the corner of Lockhurst and Liberty. Yeah, yeah. Lockhurst and Liberty, yeah. Back here. Sentai police, anybody in this building, you need to identify yourself right now. I'm going in, covered behind you. Sentai police, identify yourself. Sentai police! This guy is armed, and he's definitely not afraid to shoot at us. We've got to look and be aware of any little movement. This guy pops up. He may not listen to commands. I got to be ready to shoot. I got my eyes on upstairs. <laughs> Since that place, you're up here, you need to identify yourself. I'm going in, cover behind you. Since that place, since that place. Watch. Clear. Never a dull moment. You know, when the second shot came whizzing by, that thing was so close to my ear. I mean, the bullet was tumbling. I could hear it. It was that close. We didn't duck, duck and dive. We went right into it, both of us. We went right uh, up against this guy and um, uh, challenged him. Made him withdraw from the scene. We held the ground. You know, it's kind of frustrating. Guy seems to have gotten away. But, you know, you got to look at it this way. We'll carry this on another day. No officers got shot. We were able to disperse the crowd enough that no innocent bystanders were victims. Looks like we're all going to get to go home safe and, uh, and sound, and I'll get to go home and see my wife.